I started a business before I had a driver's license. I've only had my driver's license for a year. I've always kind of been my own boss, so to speak. I started out with lemonade stands when I was uh, younger, 10, 12. Lose was actually like my first actual real job in addition to running it. Business and being an entrepreneur has been a large focus for the past three generations of the Swanson family. In doing so and becoming an entrepreneur, it's almost like setting up the next generation. The inn was the, the reason for buying the property. I knew that the North Shore has been popular for years and I wanted kind of more of a classy boutique kind of a feel, calm, simple, yet very elegant. Cue Ashley and Callie saying, Mom, how about like an ice cream shop? You know, we didn't really know much about being in food service at all. And it's like, well, you gotta do, do the work. It just kind of grew and the smoked fish portion of the business became the focus. Fish is very important to the North Shore culture. Between our fish and our seasonings, we shop local as much as possible. Our white fish, like trout and herring, are all caught from Lake Superior and we purchase directly from local fishermen. And our spices actually come from a local spice shop in downtown Two Harbors. Kind of some secrets about our smoked fish. We have a massive smoke room that's actually made out of cinder blocks. So that gives different smoke as opposed to like an electric smoker. One of our unique items that we have here at Loops is our smoked shrimp. People from all over the place can't get enough. I enjoy the North Shore not only because of the natural beauty and the lake, I like to come to a town and feel comfortable. When you live in a small town, you work hard and people acknowledge it, and one way or another, you feel rewarded. I'm Rebecca Swanson, owner of Vine and Branches Inn. And I'm Ashley Swanson, owner of Lou's Fish House. We can't wait to meet you on the North Shore.